Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the elders at Great Millstone. Peace citation to the Akim. Let's push this word throughout the four corners of the planet. All right, Shalom to the elect. Okay, and uh, real quick, you know, I got this clip queued up. All right, and uh, uh, it says uh, Mark Mark talking about the collapse of America will give give you chills. All right, and once again, this is all uh, all biblical. All right, uh, let me see some. I think that's in. It says, let me see. Uh, Matter of fact, uh, matter of fact, let me get this. Let me get this just to uh, get things rolling in the spirit. This is. This is Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 51 and 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her, Salakia, be not cut off in her iniquity. For the sins, it says, for this, Salakia, be not cut off. In her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Yeah, the Lord is about to pay this this bitch back. All right, Babylon. All right, the whore. All right, she's about to get uh, what you call uh, James Brown. James Brown would call it a big payback. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hands that made all the earth drunken. Now the nations. It says, it says, it says, Slaki have made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. So these nations, all right, they have become like an unto, okay, Babylon. All right, they're in, uh, they're bloodthirsty. All right, they want war. All right, and it's ultimately what the Heavenly Father put it on their spirit, all right, to, 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 uh, to want, want to go to war. All right. But these other nations, what, have drunk in the wine of Babylon, uh, democracy, uh, philosophies, uh, uh, taking on the culture of America. Hey, that's why you can go anywhere across the world. All right, you see a goddamn McDonald's. All right. Here it is. You you over in Egypt. All right. And it's, 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 a, it's a, uh, a McDonald's next to the pyramids. All right. It says... Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bond for her pain. If so, if so be, she may be healed. Right? So the Lord, what? And the bomb, all right, that they're trying to give this place is what? Stimulus packages, all right? Hiking the uh, the, uh, uh, the interest rate, okay? Okay, uh, the, uh, 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 what they call it? Uh, 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 inflation. All right, shrinkflation, okay. Cutting, cutting, uh, uh, different, uh, cutting different, uh, what you call, uh, um, uh, 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 resources to ultimately try to revive, all right, and bring this place back to some type of sustainability. It says we will have hell Babylon, but she is not hell. Forsake her. And let us go every one into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, so what it's saying, we will have help, Babylon. Alright, but the thing is, this place is camp, this place can't be held. 
All right, America is terminal. All right, and if you if if you, if you people, all right, chiefly you tribes, you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, if you have any 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 sense, all right, you will what flee out of the midst of this place. All right, you you other nations, all right. Look, the Lord is basically telling you to get out while you can, like literally hop on a plane and leave this place. All right, because the Lord is about to bring judgment. And that's like when the Lord sent the angel, all right, the the uh the warn Lot and his wife. He said, "Get up, get to the angels, tell him that hey, look, get up out of here, because I'm about to uh, the Lord is about to rain down judgment." Hold on, Salaki. Hold on, Salaki. So what? Likewise, the Lord is telling you, people, look, get up out of here, cause he's about to, he's about to destroy this place. He's about to bring judgment on this place. All right, there's no healing. America is not going to go back to its uh, former glory. All right, this place is just going to continue to wax worse and worse until ultimately the nukes. All right, the Lord uh, uh, rained down on this place with nuclear nuclear fire. All right. It says the Lord have brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in the in Zion the work of the Lord our God Yahweh. All right. So let, let's 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 get into the video because this guy's pretty much he um he pretty much uh, uh lays it all out, man. Yes, there's something called the Monroe Doctrine. Let me read you a list, Sean. Invasion of foreigners, severe economic troubles, division of the empire, empire stretched too thin, government corruption and political instability, loss of traditional values, weakening of the legions, the military. That is what combined to destroy the Roman Empire. All right, so you heard everything you said. All right, uh, 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 loss of morals. All right, Ameri and America has clearly lost its morals. All right, condoning, condoning same-sex uh, marriages, condoning a uh, 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 bestiality. I mean, there's certain places you can go and you can marry your 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 your, your dog or your cat, man. All right, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, pushing forth uh, 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 um, unrighteous decrees. All right, uh, spreading the army too thin. All right, America got a base on damn near on every uh, continent, all right, in the world. All right, um, matter of fact, let me get this one. All right, um, the monetary system, all right, which I'm going to grab on this. Which is this going into that? This is Habakkuk two and six. Let me see if I can start that five. It says I'm gonna start at five. Habakkuk two and five. He also he he transgresses by wine. He is a proud man. What is his wine? All right, his philosophies. All right, he transgresses. Hey, how does he do that? Like I say, he promotes what? Same-sex marriages. All right, uh, uh, trans, trans um, humanism, transgenderism. All right, uh, uh, eating abominable foods, telling you that they're 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 uh, they're uh, healthy, that they're uh, what you call a delicacy. All right, he is a proud man. Need to keep him at home. What? That's him. What? Spreading his army uh, thin. Who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied. But gathered unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. And this is why they call what America the great melting pot. All right. Because you have all different nations and, and people within this place. Should not all these take up a parable against him 
and taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increases that which is not his yet. All right, because America, the land itself, all right, never belonged to this devil. All right, the money that America borrow, all right, uh, uh, is, is credit. All right, it's borrowed money. All right, what the, what the scriptures say that about that? He said, uh, uh, him that um, basically uh, that um, built his house with another man money is like uh, uh, it's like uh, gathering stones for his own grave, roughly paraphrasing. It says, woe well, to him that increases that which is not his, how long to him that laden ladeth himself with thick clay. And what what, what is thick clay? Okay, debt, I bought you. Alright? And that's that hey, hey this 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 scripture right here is pretty much everything that he said. Alright. Uh, in a nutshell, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee? And a weight and it said, and the weight that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booty unto them. Yeah, so everything America has done up until this point, what is going to turn around uh, as, and is about to bite America in the ass? All right, the 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 the, 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 the you know the times of kicking the can down the road. All right, is is at its end. All right, now what? The, the it's time to pay the piper, man. All right, you that this place that ran. Been running on borrowed time, all right. And now, guess what? Time is time is about up. Okay. Let me get this, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people, so spoil thee. Because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land, of the cities, and of all that dwell therein. It says, Woe to him that covereth an evil covetousness to his house, that he may set his, his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the powers of evil. It says, Thou hast consult, cons, consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people, and hast sinned against thy soul. It says, for the, for, for the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and established a city by iniquity. And that's how America was built. All right. And that's the same way it's going to go. It's the same. America was built. All right. Uh, uh, by blood and, 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 and uh, 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 destru uh, destruction is going to go down the same way. And you reap what you sow. All right. So let's go. The Roman Empire lasts a thousand years. We're not even close to a thousand years. Every one of okay, and America is what you call the second leg of the Roman Empire. All right, that deadly, that deadly, that deadly uh, wound. All right, that the, that that the dragon survived. All right, let me see if I can get that. I think that's in uh, Revelation. Yeah, Revelation. It says, And I saw <coughs> one of his heads as it, as it, it's a lot here. And I saw one of the heads as if it was wounded to death. And his deadly wound was, let me, matter of fact, let me, let me, let me give it some context. Woo. I'm trying to so lock it bear with me.
Um, Salaki a bit. What the hell? Oh, here we go. This is Revelations 13. I'm going to start at the top. It said, and I stood upon, and I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And that's uh, NATO and the EU. And upon the horns, ten crowns, and upon the heads, the name of, 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 of blasphemy. All right. It says, and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a beast, of a, of a, be, of a bear, and his mouth was as the mouth of a lion. It says, and the dragon gave him his power and his, his, his uh, seat and great authority. It says, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded, to death, all right, and that's going to the Roman Empire. And his deadly wound was healed, and all the uh, all the world wondered after the beast. Yeah, so that deadly wound was healed, all right, and it came back what as America, all right. But this time, when this place go down, it's never going to come back. Okay, and they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast, and they worship the beast, saying, who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him, and that's the answer to that is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. all right, uh, let me keep on going, it says, and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things, and blasphemes and power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. All right. It says, and he opened his mouth and blasphemed against Yahweh to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and dumb that dwell in, in the heavens. Right. And that's what this devil has done. What he's, he's uh, blasphemed the Lord. All right. He's called the, the angels. Little green men, all right. He's made the angels likened unto a, 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 a white woman, all right. White men with, with wings, all right. He made the heavenly father look look like a a a a, 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 what, a Caucasian, a red a Edomite. And it says, uh, and it was given unto him to make war with the with with the saints to over to, it said and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. All right. And that's ultimately, all right, uh, due to his blessing, which is the sword. So like, yeah. Ow. So like, you bear with me now. My nose. Right. Let me see. I don't want this to be that long, but you know how the spirit is. All right. But the point was made. made uh, the point was made right there in Revelations. Let's go. Those seven or eight issues is something we are confronting today, and Rome fell on 476 CE of its own weight. We have something going on in this country that we've never had before. We have a Marxist revolution that is destroying us from within while the enemy gathers abroad. And there is an access of powers against us right now. It's China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. This is no joke. China hasn't built the biggest navy on the face of the earth. Military islands in the South China Sea over 27 bases of different kinds in our hemisphere, a, a deep water naval base in Samaya, where my great uncle fought on Guadalcanal. You have uh, China with a base on the western coast of Africa facing us, killer satellites, nuclear missiles, 
You think they're building all that to defeat Taiwan? They're building all that to defeat us. Exactly. This is Joel 3 and 10. Beat your plowshares and the swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. And that's what these other countries doing. What right? They're getting ready for war. All right, they're getting ready to go to war with the beast. All right, with the dragon. All right, with the whore, man. All right. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together around about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down. It says, let the heathen be wakened and come up. So lock it. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So the Lord, what? Is mustering the battle. Put ye put put in the put in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get ye down, for for the press is full, the fast overflow. For for wickedness is great. Yeah. So what the wickedness is great. All right. And the Lord is about to come. It's a lot. Yeah, so the wickedness is great. So the Lord what is about to come, and the Lord is about to come uh, uh, harvest it, man. All right, the elect is about silk. All right, let's go. They're not going to be satisfied with Taiwan. They're in battles now with the Philippines and Japan, even Vietnam. Uh, Australia's being threatened. Uh, unless you're Helen Keller, you can't see this and hear what's going on here. This is a big damn deal. And let me tell you something that viewers of this audience and others may not want to hear. We need to prepare for war against China. I don't mean go to war. I don't mean initiate a war. But they are preparing for war. We are completely unprepared as a nation psychologically. We are completely unprepared economically and immigration-wise in securing our border. Our military is not prepared in the sense that they're pushing this woke ideology. Our All right, and that's cold for what? The military is not prepared because what they're allowing, what? Transgenderism, okay, uh, transgenders, all right, uh, uh, feminine men, all right, women, all right, uh, let me get this. Jeremiah 51 and 30. The mighty men of Babylon have, have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might have fell. They became as women. They have burnt her dwelling place. Her, her bars are broken. So there you go. All right. The, the, these, the, the mighty men of, of, of America has become like an unto a uh, woman, man. All right, let's go. Military budgets do not reflect the threats that we are facing in the world around us. I want to say it again so the backbenchers regurgitate it. We must prepare for war against China. Not because we want war, not because we're going to cause war, but because they want war. They've only communicated it 10,000 different ways, whether it's violating your airspace, navigable waters, threatening our ships, threatening our country, threatening our people. What else can they do short of attacking? They're not going to be satisfied with Taiwan. This is a big damn deal. And we don't have the military brass in the Pentagon to deal with this. The Secretary of Defense or Secretary of State 
We've never been so weak. That's what she sees. He sees what I see. He sees what the rest of the damn world sees. This is no joke. When you have the French, this guy, what is he, VC France? This guy stabs us in the back, Macron. Lafayette, remember Lafayette? He helped us during the Revolutionary War. He defied the, the monarchy. He joined Washington. He led the Battle of Brandywine. He got wounded. He was with us. The French helped us at the end of the war. Here's France, where we sent GIs to Europe to liberate France. And many of them died. And look what this bastard does to us, the president of France. He goes over to China at the height of tensions, stabs us in the back, says he will not support us. He's provoking the Chinese to act, talks about autonomy. You can stick your autonomy, France, as far as I'm concerned. Joe Biden, Joe Biden gets elected. So hey, he, he, he's right. All right, and that's once again that's that's prophecy. Let me get this. All right, because the president of France went over there and said what that they have to get from under the the hegemony of America. All right. Let me get this. It says Obadiah. Uh, so like you bear with me. This is <coughs> Obadiah. Come on, man. This is Obadiah 1 and 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have, have, have deceived thee and have prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is, there is none understanding in him. And that's what these other nations, that's what you see right here. All right, these other nations, all right. Have have is making back deals, all right, with America's enemies. All right, American allies are making back deals with American enemies. Putatively, anyway, he's Mister Diplomacy. Tells the world we're back, Mister Globalist, Mister Experience. Let me tell you something. He's dragging this country into depression. He's dragging this country into war. Not because of what the isolationists say, but because of the opposite. We're and guess who they're going to blame that on? All right, going to, these regular Edomites are going to blame that on you, you, uh, you, you, uh, you tribes, man. All right, because when Biden got in office, they said what that the the, the black vote, the Latino vote, is what got him in, in office. All right, uh, specifically, all right, the the black woman. All right, and the Latino woman. All right, got got this double A, and that's going to come down on you on you tribes. All right, which is going to usher in a uh, 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 race wars, Jacob's trouble. Not acting like a confident, strong country, and so people are disrespecting us. He keeps calling Xi. We don't know what he's telling him, but I can imagine what he's telling. What do they keep saying? We don't want conflict. We want competition. Stop calling Xi because you're demonstrating to him how damn weak you are. We, the people, deserve a better leader than this and a better government than this. But this is what we put up with. It's absolutely unbelievable. That's it. I'm so, hey, there you go. Hey, the writing's on the wall, man. All right. Let me let me let me get this. All right, is this a hey, that right there was basically uh telling a lot, man. All right, this is Jeremiah. 
I'm gonna start at Jeremiah 30 and 12. Now this was uh this this scripture was talking about the Israelites, but once again, uh pursuing the Deuteronomy 30 and 7, what all our curses would go from us to our enemies. So now this applies to uh, uh, our enemies. Jeremiah 30 and 12. For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. It says, There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine. Going back to what? All right. Uh, 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 Babylon uh, 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 is uh, basically uh, through, man. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. All right, going into what? American allies. All right, he just got finished saying what? The, the guy in France pretty much stabbed him in the back. For I have wounded thee with a wound of, of an enemy. It says, with the chastisement of a cruel one. For the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased. It says, why criest thou for thy aff affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable. For the multitude of thy iniquity... Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. It says, therefore, all they that devour thee, Salakia, therefore, all they, Salakia, that, that's it on that. That's it on that. So, yeah. So, what? This place, this place is, uh, this place is incurable, man. All right, there's no coming back. The right is on the wall, and Babylon is uh, uh, soon to be destroyed, man. All right, so with that, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, Shalom.